This is the book you wrote about your condition, Sane New World. No, great, it, isn't great world. it isn't about depression. That's, that's, uh, no, Sane New World is because when I did my show, the audience used, the old show, the audience used to uh, ask questions, but it turned out it wasn't just the one in four who have a mental illness. The four in four started asking the same questions. Like, why the critical voices, you know, the ones that, like, you got it, you got it, you didn't, you should have. And, uh, you know, nobody has an inside voice that I've ever met that says, what a wonderful thing you've done today, and may I say how attractive you are. <laughs> and the obsession with, you know, even if you don't have anything to do, like, you got to be busy, because if people find out you're not, you're like a pariah. Mm -hmm. So um, I really was interested. So the book is for the four and four. So I, yeah, because we're, seriously, we're in a co we aren't built for the 21st century. I'm not bitching about it. I'm just saying how to um, deal within it. So that was for everybody. Now his question. So he asks you, the student, uh, when you get up in the morning, yeah. you look in the mirror. I don't look in the mirror. That's okay. That's one. I don't look down when I'm in the shower. <laughs> mm -hmm. Go on. Um, Look, I wanted to find something so that I could cool my mind down because I, I started getting longer and longer depressions. They used to be every five years and it got quicker and quicker. What happens in your head when you... Nothing. Nothing happens. You're gone. When you are depressed? You're not thinking anything. You're just a slab that sits in a chair and you can't lift your hand. So I, I hunted down Mark Williams because in the brain research it shows that the best... Um, ways of it prevents relapse but also for OCD for everything for burnout for stress the best results were cognitive therapy and mindfulness so I thought well I gotta I gotta pick one because I, I studied the psychology when I was young and he is Mark Williams he Mark is... Williams is the founder of mindfulness based cognitive therapy which is the new zeitgeist so he worked at Oxford and I found him <laughs> and he said he took, did an eight-week course just with me for free can you imagine? Unbelievable. I'm Jewish. That's mm -hmm. really a big deal. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Dutch so, are big on that as well. Boy, free is the magic word. So then I said, well, I'm really interested in how it affects the brain. Because I'm not fluffy. You know what I mean? I don't do these weekends for finding your inner elf. I ain't into that. So he said, oh, well, sadly, if you want to learn about what it does in the brain, you'd have to get into Oxford. And he thought that was the end of it. So um, I, I then, I'm like a Rottweiler when I get a mission. I found some of my grades that were okay, and I threw away the other ones. And then, because I give great interview, I got into Oxford. So I just graduated two weeks ago. Great. Yeah. <laughs> That uh, was the most exciting day of my life. And then, uh, and so I have to do, just for me it works. For somebody else it'll be go to a church, somebody else go swimming, somebody else do Tai Chi. But for me, I need to get my cortisol down, which is a good drug and a bad drug. If mm. you switch it on too long, it's going to burn your system. So like before this show, I can't come too hyped. I'll tip over, not on the show, but later I'm too fueled up. And there's just red mist, I can't think. So I got to get it down. So you, before we started, you were sitting in a little room? Yeah. What are you doing? If you, if you, uh, there's a bit of your brain that's always on high alarm. I mean, it used to just be on high alarm when you'd meet a predator hundreds of thousands of years ago. And then when you'd kill him, or it would kill you, or you'd be lunch or you'd have lunch, that thing would go down. An amil it's like an alarm button. It would go, go down. And we were well adjusted. Nobody had OCD. Of course, we didn't have our full use of thumb but that's a byproduct. Mm. So now, because we're so alarmed by, um, you know, we have to know everything in the world, what's 20,000? Why do I have to know if there's a 3.6 earthquake in Dong Fong Dong? Why do we need to know? <laughs> we're supposed to know what our neighbors are doing. That's it. You know when you feel a stomach ache or you feel your feet on the ground and you go, or you feel yourself breathe, not think, but just feel it? Mm. When, you go, when you do that, really just even feel, feeling your feet on the ground, or you're behind on the chair. As soon as you send the attention that way, the amygdala automatically goes down. So it's called the insula. If that's up, active, the uh, amygdala goes down. So it's like a car that can't be in two gears at once, mm -hmm. you know, and it'll, and it'll work. So actually, it's not a big guru thing sitting on the mountain. It's you're playing with your chemicals. Right. You're playing with them. And that's what's coming in the future, that you self-regulate, and you don't need to run to a shrink. You know, if you go in your body for a even a minute, 
then when you go back to work, which we need speed, you'll go in much better because you've cleared, you've cleared the deck. Which is the hardest thing to do. Hardest, hardest thing to do. But we know how to physically make ourselves stronger. Uh, they say by 2020, it's going to be how you think that's going to kill and everybody. And not the muscle. It's not that you can jog as much as you want. It's going to be stress. That'll kill everybody. Yeah.